Hey guys, JRS Kick One here. I was gonna do a rabbit video. I've been like not doing anything lately, just been really busy with work. Um, and a lot going on here that I'll get y'all videos of. But rabbits, not so much. Um, they just, and maybe y'all can comment if it's happening to y'all too. Um, just, I think part of it was older does. Uh, a lot of my does were older and big. And so, but I was having lots of babies on wire out of proven does, a lot of no, uh, no babies. They would just pull some hair, but no babies would, uh, be born. Um, just been weird with rabbits last year. Um, almost to the point of getting out of them, discouraged on them. But, um, but of course I love rabbits. So, but cut way back, got rid of all my standard wrecks. Um, got rid of most of my fufu bunnies i still have a few and what i mean by a fufu bunny is a bunny that let me open this so you can see one of my replacement does why i'm talking um fufu bunny to me is any bunny that's not pure raised just for pets um and so that was uh, a lot of my uh spinoff was for um uh, for pet market and then i used that to subsidize my uh try New Zealand's and that's just with feed costs and everything uh, just cut way back on that um, and so I've culled most of my New Zealand does well I'll show you what I have left um, but anybody that didn't do a great job was gone or is gone except for one or two that are getting one more chance um, and I have six replacement does this is four does out of two different uh, litters good sized litters the two tries here are out of a litter of eight, and the two reds are out of a litter of seven. Um, the two red does, their mom's still here. The two try does, their mom was older, and I really think was too big, probably 10 pounds, uh, 12 pounds, maybe even bigger than that. And I just, I don't know if that was a cause of it or not, but we will see. But these little girls will be staying. Uh, we have two try New Zealands, a, a red New Zealand, and a broken red New Zealand. Um, and then next we have the Red's mom, which is a dark, dark satin kind of red doe that I brought to my, uh, red and white buck I'll show you. Right here, this red doe, um, and she's not being nice. I'm going to set you right here while I close the gate for a second. And then we have two uh tri does here two young tri does that both have litters and are doing great and that's why i'm thinking it might be size uh because these older does um they just weren't doing it and then we have one of my last tri does and i kept her because of the she's you can't really see i'll see if i can get it hang up from the other side in the sun but she has a lot of black on the tri uh, and she had seven babies and they're all red broken <laughs> one has a little bit of black on it but not much uh, here's that other young tri doe let me see if i can open it where you can see her better and she has seven um and most of these i bred both of these to my br uh, broken red buck i'll show you and uh most of hers are red and white it just shows how dominant the the red and white gene is yeah I'll do the bucks while I'm over here. So I have uh, two tri bucks. This one will be going to uh, probably freezer camp before long. He just not being a very good buck on the buck angle. He has the prettiest colors, but he just, he's getting lazy breeding and I don't need two. But uh, so there's this one, this one, that's a little bit of bigger frame, but doesn't have the pretty black that the other one does. And he's a better breeder. And then I have my Foo Foo Buck, which in this case is a Dutch that does really good. And then my big boy that I've raised here on the farm, his mom was a Tri and his dad was a Red, um, Broken Red Buck. That's a, that's a really pretty buck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so those are the bucks on the property right now. Um, Here's a pure litter of Dutch, which are just foo-foo bunnies to me because, I mean, they're not pedigreed or nothing. And 
then there is a one of my last older New Zealand does, and this is what I'm talking about. You can see how how big these girls get, but just not being good moms, just not doing their job, um, and so just trying a different trying to do a different angle. All righty, we have the other two little girls I'm keeping, and they're getting gentle. We have a Harlequin with a split face and a little try. Yep, and they're right at three and a half months. <laughs> and they're being good. They're about to get separated into smaller pins. I'll show you over on this other side where I can pet them easier. Another big uh, tri doe. She's the second, there's three, three last ones that are getting one more chance. Um, here's another one of them. And then we'll head over to this other side over here. We just have one of my last foo foo bunnies. It's a line head, uh, line head cross. I wouldn't call her pure line head, but I bred her to the Dutch and she had a bunch of little cute foo foo bunnies. Um, <laughs> there ain't nothing prettier than a, a mixed bunny. But uh, so those will be pet bunnies there. And then we'll get to the last group. Don't let me make you sick. No, I lied. Here's another little foo foo bunny. She's half line head, half uh, New Zealand. And one of the best mamas in the barn. Um, only problem is she usually throws black babies with the Dutch. She had, last time she had seven solid black, one with a little white on its nose. But really good mama. Um, and then here's, this one's only about a year old try. She's still doing good. She's not in the dog house. This one is, this Harley here lost her babies. And in my opinion, it was chilly, but there was no excuse for losing them. But she gets one more try because I'm trying to get another, a couple of another good Harlequins. And between you and me, it stinks that I've pretty much bred out all my magpies. And I wish I had a couple now, but um, just by getting the tries, I've pretty much done away with the magpies. This is a project rabbit here. It's a, a white New Zealand, but at a good stock. Yeah. And I was hoping to get one litter to see what it would do with the with the tri rooster. Um so we'll see. She's bred, but she's already been bred once and nothing happened, so we'll see. Here's one of the homegrown ones that I raised and she has a totally different look. Um, and it's not that I like it or dislike it. She was just a good mom. And so she stayed around. <laughs> but she's a young doe. And then, oh, there must be a hawk after the chickens because the chickens are freaking out. We got two big old hawks that think they need to terrorize the chickens. We haven't gotten any. But they love terrorizing them. All right, but the main thing, besides wanting to show you the rabbits and give you all an update that I'm still alive, is look at all the empty cages. Um, the barn is less than half full, and that is just, I mean, it's just not not really profitable. I, I wouldn't say that because I never did it for that, but it's just not, with the price of feed um, and everything going on, it's just not, just not worth it. Um, and with the size of litters and or lack of size of litters and cooperations of these rabbits. Um, I just took a step back and got a little smaller. But I just wanna do an update for y'all so y'all can see the bunny. Still got lots of pretty tries and will always have pretty tries just cause they're my babies. But uh, in a perfect world, I'd love to get a couple more of the, uh, darker, oh, I just can't see her. Uh, I would love to get a few more of the darker, uh, tries and working on maybe a harlequin if i come across one i'll keep it but y'all have a wonderful day and i'll get an update on everything else soon because there's a lot going on talk to you later bye bye